She said plan wars. You've been waiting a couple of years. Fighting wins is finally here. Oh, did we make that super clear? Yep, we got plan wars. Now you got plan wars. Clash of clans. Prepare for clan wars. Download for free. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you some Clash of Clans, Clan Wars from our second clan video against Uprising Nufi. And we're going to show our attack against Jeebus, as I use some brilliant strategy here. Take note, the air defense in the middle is not very well protected. That I'm gonna get the hundred percent. Let me just decimate their clan castle worth of reinforcements, and I can't stress this enough: do not send archers. Take the time out. Build wizards. Build hogs. Build minions. Do anything that's actually useful. Dragons are another good one. Because when it comes to clan wars. You want to take as much time as you can, get the three stars. Even if it takes you five hours worth of dragons, if you get the three stars, like I'm about to do here, that is what matters. Even if you have to spend 250,000 elixir to do it, probably 300,000 to spell. Barbarian King cannot attack anybody, and these dragons will just rip through everything. As you can see, there's three archer towers, two tesla towers, and a cannon left for the defenses. And there are six dragons still up out of 11. Now, unfortunately, with clan wars, you don't get a whole lot of resources when you attack somebody. So you have to make sure you have quite a bit on hand, like 500,000 elixir before you even start the clan wars. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting hours to do your next attack, like I had to do. So we get the perfect on Jeebus, who is, I believe, number five or six on the clan table. Number six. And we're going to show Jacob's replay against Hammer. And like me, he does a Zerg of Dragons, although his are level two and mine are only level one. He uses Rage spells instead of Lightning. So, whatever works for you. I don't have a level 5 Barbarian King, unfortunately, so I don't have a personal range. And the Clan Dragon Wizards are in, so they're going to get obliterated. The main thing you got to watch out for is the bottom air defense. That will get a lot of shots in on the dragons, but that'll be the biggest resistance. As a black balloon is used on a dragon low life. Pretty much a waste there versus a dragon with near full life. So all that you really have to worry about is one Tesla, one Archer Tower, one Wizard Tower, and the air defense. And unfortunately, dragons don't use smart aiming, so they'll attack anything they want. And I don't think this dragon will take it out. So now there's two dragons, and they decide to go after the Dark Elixir first. And they go south away. So now they finally go towards the air defense. And the dragon takes out the air defense and itself, leaving one dragon out. But we're gonna fast forward this as it's a minute 11. I don't feel like watching it off. So a little gutsier and a little bit more difficult to do. However, Jacob did manage to pull off the victory using level two dragons and a bunch of rage spells. A great effort to take out the number two. And three level three rage spells. And this is something I could do. 
So great to take notes on that. And we have an attack by Mitt Romney on Scribe 836. I really like the mix of level 5 and 6 walls. Makes it feel cartoonish. Oh, the wizard tower in the middle is taken out. And a mortar. And we got some clan defense. Now he brings out a golem. And a dragon on the town hall. Still managed to survive it. Well, the golem is used to distract the clan castle. Troops. And the archer queen is out. Main purpose of that is to take out that bottom air defense. And the archer queen will obliterate these mini and wizards. So now we got the barbarian king out. He should be able to get rid of the air defense. Leaving the dragons free to just pounce on all of these troops. But basically it's another dragon strategy. However, as you can see in Clan Wars, you have to do what it takes to survive. And even if it's mass producing dragons, do what you gotta do. So there's a wizard tower and two archer towers left. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Three dragons manage to survive, and Mitt Romney gets the 100% on another tough opponent. Even though, weird base layout with all the yellow and purple walls. And we have another 100% by Jacob on Scarecrow, another high ranked uprising Nufi. So we got minions at the bottom to aggro the Barbarian King. And the Barbarian King is down to take out the enemy archers. Main thing to note here with the Barbarian King, he cannot attack the minion, so you basically use him to bait out the Barbarian King, which is the Hog Rider's worst nightmare. And the minions will take out some of the defenses on the bottom. And this is why he wanted to go minions up top. You could also do a dragon but minions will probably get the job done quicker. Now well, he sends in one Hog Rider to check the trap, and then he sends in a Zerg of Hog Riders. Now well, he puts down a heal spell, which is really good for Hog Riders, as they do have a decent amount of life. And in my opinion, it's better than Rage. Well, another heal spell down at a great location, right where there's a bunch of defenses. A couple hog riders off to the east. That cannon gets obliterated. Well, the hog riders come and help out against the wizard tower. One archer tower left is not going to take out all those hog riders. And the reason I'm sharing these high ranking 100% videos is that a lot of lobbies don't take the time to actually plan your attacks. They just want to get their attacks out of the way and that is the biggest mistake you could ever do. Scout your opponents, take your time, and you will get much better results. And just because a base is recommended for you doesn't mean attack it. And the reason for that is Hazel Dean managed to take four defenses and we're going to show Mr. K and how much he botched up. First off, there's a dragon in the clan castle. And if you would have watched replays, you would have seen that. As dragons with archers spread out will just decimate all the archers. And never send in wall breakers before giants. Again, stupid rookie mistakes. And he probably could have got 50% easily if he would have used the Giants then the Wall Breakers. 
because now Giants have to waste time just to break through. And they get ejected instead of going through. Now, he was smart with the air defense as he placed it after it got down. However, there is a clan dragon still up, massacring all those archers. So that healer gets massacred. And a wasted wall breaker there. And the healer gets obliterated. As you can see, Hadel Dean is probably the bane of our House Kuyalix. We're going to see if we have any more good attacks here. We got Keeg's getting three starred by Ninja, and this will be our last video we're showing. Standard Town Hall 7 setup. Air defense is placed low. However, he does have three air defenses, so it's actually Town Hall 8. And raging on. All the air defenses with dragons. And the key strength to dragons is that all your cannons are useless, mortars are useless against dragons. So there's still two air defenses up, however, there are seven dragons up. Great spells will let dragons fly quicker across the map. Unlike balloons, they will not specifically target defenses, and I would really love to do a 40 balloon raid. And with some rage spells thrown in, that could be devastating. So the clan castle in the corner, that was probably the dumbest thing they could have done. And it probably would have made more sense using it in the middle. Now the Barbarian King is out after most of the dragons do the damage. And very good placement by Ninja. With the quick and easy victory on Keeks. And we have Benny the Stone who was attacked by Jeff 23412. And the smartest thing he did was lightning the air defense, which will make it easy for healers. And as I pointed out, there is one air defense out on the left, so you take that out. And healers have free reign pretty much. However, there are clan giants and clan archers, so I don't understand why he actually went with archers. And usually Jeff does go with wizards. But if you get 100%, it really doesn't matter. And a large bomb only took out one or two archers. So now there's dragons in play. So it looks like he went with a combination of archers and dragons. Both air defenses are knocked out. Barbarian King is out. Some more archers come to support against the archer power cannons. And it looks like a mortar hit on all those archers. Well, there's still two dragons up. And only one wizard tower to counter the dragon. Archers and Barbarian King still chopping away. And the Wizard Tower is having trouble with the Barbarian King. Still a Dark Elixir Storage is in the corner. And a large bomb again only taking out one Archer. However, the mortar took out a bunch, so there's two dragons up. 
had about four or five archers on the dark elixir. So as you can see from a lot of our clan videos, dragons and hog riders, along with either rage or lightning spell, seem to do the job against higher ranked opponents. So if you like this video showing off some House Creelix rating against Uprising Nufi, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, add it as a favorite, check out my other In Just Gods Among Us videos, my Clash of Clans videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood show now. And for Mother Russia, we gotta win this fucking war. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!